FileZilla Pro Series. These tutorials are aimed at illustrating how to best use FileZilla Pro, FileZilla flagship product. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to Amazon S3 Cloud. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Amazon S3 Cloud service or any other S3 compatible service. Before start, make sure you have a S3 key pair. You will need both the access key ID and the secret access key in order to continue. You can get them from the S3 console website. Just click on the link to S3 console website you find in the video description. Now we can continue. First of all, you need to create a site entry for your S3 connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select S3 Amazon Simple Storage Service as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. Choose Normal as the logon type. Enter your access key ID and secret access key in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your S3 storage. In the right side, you see your buckets, directories, and files. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to S3 compatible cloud environments. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to non-Amazon S3 storage providers like DreamObjects or DigitalOcean, which we will show you here as a sample configuration. In the video description, you will find a link to a wiki page with the DigitalOcean instructions. Ask your provider for the endpoints and regions. You will need them to configure FileZilla Pro. You need also your access and secret keys. Launch FileZilla Pro. Open the S3 Providers configuration. FileZilla Pro already has the configuration to connect to the Amazon S3 provider. For non-Amazon providers, you need to add the provider configuration. In order to add a new provider configuration, click the Add button. Name the provider as you wish. In the region list, you enter the regions as supplied by your provider. Choose Add to enter a new region. Enter the name of the region. Double-click the description and enter it. Double-click the endpoint and enter it. Perform the same steps for the other regions. The catch-all entry is used to handle regions not yet known. Note that this entry starts with a dot. The format entry is used to build the endpoint for unknown regions. The placeholders bucket and region are used to replace the respective bucket and region values. Now you can create a site to connect to your provider. Create the site and choose Protocol S3. Modify the host to your provider host name. Enter the access and secret keys. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your provider. In the right view, you will see your buckets, directories, and files. In this tutorial, you learned how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to non-Amazon S3 storage providers like DreamObjects or DigitalOcean. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to Alibaba Cloud. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Alibaba Object Storage. In the video description, you find a link to the Knowledge Base page with all the instructions. Launch FileZilla Pro. Open the S3 Providers configuration. FileZilla Pro has already the configuration to connect to Amazon S3. For non-Amazon providers, you need to add the specific configuration. In order to add a new provider configuration, click the Add button. Name the provider. In the region list, you enter the regions as provided by your provider. Choose Add to enter a new region. Enter the name of the region. Double-click the description and enter it. Double-click the endpoint and enter it. Perform the same steps for all the other regions. The catch-all entry is used to handle regions not yet known. Note that this entry starts with a dot. The format entry is used to build the endpoint for unknown regions. 
the placeholder bucket and region are used to replace the respective bucket and region values. Now you can create a site to connect to Alibaba Object Storage. Create the site and choose Protocol S3. Enter your provider host name. Enter the access and secret keys. In this video, you learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Alibaba Object Storage. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to StackPath Object Storage. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to StackPath Object Storage. In the video description, you find a link to the Knowledge Base page with all the instructions. Launch FileZilla Pro. Open the S3 Providers configuration. FileZilla Pro has already the configuration to connect to Amazon S3. For non-Amazon providers, you need to add the specific configuration. In order to add a new provider configuration, click the Add button. Name the provider. In the region list, you enter the regions as provided by your provider. Choose Add to enter a new region. Enter the name of the region. Double-click the description and enter it. Double-click the endpoint and enter it. Perform the same steps for all the other regions. The catch-all entry is used to handle regions not yet known. Note that this entry starts with a dot. The format entry is used to build the endpoint for unknown regions. The placeholder bucket and region are used to replace the respective bucket and region values. Now you can create a site to connect to StackPath storage. Create the site and choose Protocol S3. Enter your provider host name. Enter the access and secret keys. In this video, you learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to StackPath storage. In this video, we'll teach you how to connect to Wasabi storage. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Wasabi storage. In the video description, you find a link to the Knowledge Base page with all the instructions. Launch FileZilla Pro. Open the S3 Providers configuration. FileZilla Pro has already the configuration to connect to Amazon S3. For non-Amazon providers, you need to add the specific configuration. In order to add a new provider configuration, click the Add button. Name the provider. In the region list, you enter the regions as provided by your provider. Choose Add to enter a new region. Enter the name of the region. Double-click the description and enter it. Double-click the endpoint and enter it. Perform the same steps for all the other regions. The catch-all entry is used to handle regions not yet known. Note that this entry starts with a dot. The format entry is used to build the endpoint for unknown regions. The placeholder bucket and region are used to replace the respective bucket and region values. Now you can create a site to connect to Wasabi Storage. Create the site and choose Protocol S3. Enter your provider host name. Enter the access and secret keys. In this video, you learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Wasabi Storage. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use AWS Config and Credentials files to connect with FileZilla Pro. You can authenticate with an AWS profile using the credentials or the config files. If a profile setting is both in credentials and config files, FileZilla Pro will use the profile setting in the credentials file. Launch FileZilla Pro. Create a new S3 connection or edit an existing one. In the Logon Type drop-down, choose Profile. Enter the name of the profile in the Profile box. Click Connect. FileZilla Pro will use the data from the credentials file to connect to S3. In this video, you'll learn how to use AWS Config and Credentials files to connect with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to use canned ACLs with Amazon S3. Each S3 bucket and file has an associated access control list, or ACL, with grantees and permissions. A canned ACL is a predefined set of grantees and permissions. FileZilla Pro can use a canned ACL when creating a bucket or file. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your S3 site. From the menu, you can see the available options. The selected ACL will be used when uploading files or creating buckets. You can also choose the canned ACL from the status bar. 
Files added to the queue for upload include the currently selected CAND ACL. The CAND ACL will be set when the file is processed. Buckets created during the queue processing use the currently selected CAND ACL. In this video, you learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to use CAND ACLs with Amazon S3. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to use a default storage class with Amazon S3. Each S3 bucket and file has an associated storage class. FileZilla Pro can use a storage class when creating a bucket or file. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your S3 site. From the menu, you can see the available options. The selected storage class will be used when uploading files or creating buckets. You can also choose the storage class from the status bar. Files added to the queue for upload include the currently selected storage class. The storage class will be set when the file is processed. Buckets created during the queue processing use the currently selected storage class. In this video, you learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to use a default storage class with Amazon S3. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to change the properties of files stored in S3. Each S3 file has properties, storage class, permissions, metadata, and tags. FileZilla Pro can change those properties. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your S3 site. Select the file you want to see the properties. Right-click or Control-click if you are in a Mac to open the context menu and choose the file permissions option. A window with the file properties is shown. The storage indicates which storage class the object belongs to. For a list of S3 storage classes, see the link in the description. You can change the storage class by choosing any of the available options. The permissions configuration allows you to control who accesses the file. Click the plus button to grant access to a user. Choose the grantee and check which permissions are granted. You can also remove a permission by clicking the minus button. Here in this area, you see the metadata associated with the file. You can add new metadata or remove existing metadata. Here you can add key value pairs, also known as tags, associated with the file. Enter the tag key name and the tag value. For more tags, click the plus button. For removing existing tags, click the minus button. Click Apply or OK to modify the file's properties. In this video, you learn how to manage properties of your files stored in S3 with FileZilla Pro. FileZilla Pro Series. In this video, we'll teach you how to manage S3 lifecycle policies management with FileZilla Pro. In this video, you will learn how to manage your S3 buckets lifecycle policies with FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your S3 site. On the right, you see the list of your buckets. Right-click or Control-click if you are on a Mac to open the context menu and choose the S3 bucket lifecycle policies. The configuration is shown. On top, you see the list of rules. If the bucket has no policy rules, you can set a default rule that cleans incomplete multi-part uploads after seven days. To create a new rule, press Add. Give the rule a name. Enable the rule to run it automatically. You can limit the scope of the rule. By setting the prefix, you can limit the rule to objects starting with that prefix. For example, objects under the Images subdirectory. You can also limit the rule to objects with specific tags. The rule will be applied only to the objects that match tag name and value. Then you have to select the actions that will be performed to those objects. You can add different actions to the rule. For example, move the objects to another storage or delete the objects. These actions are applied to the current version of the objects. There are corresponding actions for previous versions of the objects if the objects are version. You can also add the action to remove incomplete uploads. After selecting an action, you have to specify its parameters. Parameters differ for each type of action. Date determines when the action will take place. 
days specifies how many days after object creation the action will take place. You can set either one or the other. The storage indicates which storage class the object will be moved to. For a list of S3 storage classes, see the link in the description. You can add as many actions as you want to the same set of objects, provided that you don't try to set the same action twice. Clicking OK will validate the rules and add them to the S3 bucket. In this video, you learned how to manage your S3 bucket's lifecycle policies with FileZilla Pro. FileZilla Pro Series. In this video, we'll teach you how to configure Amazon S3 server side encryption with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up Amazon S3 server side encryption with FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. With FileZilla Pro, you can configure how Amazon protects your files at rest. To set the encryption type for a file, choose the S3 server side encryption option. By default, files are not encrypted on the remote side. With the S3 encryption type, Amazon manages the encryption keys used to encrypt the file. This option allows you to protect your file with the keys from the Amazon Key Management Service. You can either use your default key or enter a custom key. You can manage the keys in the Key Management Service console. See the link in this video description. You can also set the encryption type for the whole connection. In this case, the encryption type is automatically set when uploading the files. The options are similar to the ones used for a single file. Use S3 encryption for S3 managed keys and KMS for keys from the key management service. The link in the description explains the different options. It is also possible to set your own encryption key. Use this option when you want to manage the encryption key yourself. The custom key is used to encrypt the file when uploading and to decrypt when downloading. Keep in mind that if you lose or forget the encryption key, you will not be able to recover your files. For details about the encryption types, visit the page Protecting Data Using Server-Side Encryption. See the link in this video description. In this video, you learned how to use Amazon S3 Server-Side Encryption with FileZilla Pro. In this video, you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to use Amazon S3 Transfer Acceleration. Open the S3 Providers Configuration. Choose Amazon S3 Provider from the Provider List. Enter Amazon Acceleration Endpoint Address. Click on OK to save your changes. Now go to the Site Manager to create or edit a site Enter your credentials. Now go to the S3 tab. Enable Acceleration Transfer. Click on the Connect button. Go to the remote directory. To download the file, just double click on it. Please note that FileZilla Pro uses the accelerated endpoint to download the file. FileZilla Pro is fast and reliable. Plus, it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint. Are your website files ready to go? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you at the next video of the FileZilla Pro series.